Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you is for single people. It's very special, you know. Um, I want to do something special for those single people out there. And today's topic is going to talk about uh, why are you single and how can you fix it. Um, I think it's a very interesting um, topic to talk about, like, like why are you being single and can you do something about it? You know, um, I hate those tarot reading that I keep being passive about it. Like your crush like you, but they are not going to ask you out. So like, can you do something about it? Can you do something about fixing being single and into a loving relationship? So today, a uh, special guest featuring uh, Citri, the powerful and famous uh, demon of lust, um, channeling him uh, for a message for you guys. So there will be uh, power number one, uh, power number two, and power number three. Uh, power number one is uh, this green uh, stone, Atatrine stone, and uh, power number two is the peacock, very, very beautiful peacock stone, and power three will be Yukonite stone. So you can um, choose your pile intuitively. Um, I'm going to start out with power number one now. Okay. So, power number one, I took card for you guys. Uh, there's a five pentacles and the judgment card so uh, for you guys uh, choose that power number one the, the main reason why that you're being single right now is because maybe you're struggling with your finances uh, struggling getting a job um, being stable um, struggling with low, low self-esteem and um, suffering um, in in like being unstable in when it comes to like money uh, when it comes to like self-esteem so the judgment card is the good news is like from spirit and from history um, he's telling you that uh, there is a renewal coming you know like when your lack of money uh, lack of stability um, lack of low self-esteem um, the universe uh, spirit uh, uh, telling you that uh, history telling you that there will be a renewal um, so there when you suffer low self-esteem um, Slowly, you will like uh, meditate and do some journaling, and scripting, uh, script, scripting, in um, in like, improving your uh, uh self esteem and also like uh, for those that are struggling financially, um, there will be a renewal in in your finance life. So maybe a job offer is coming. Uh, maybe you should uh, apply more jobs and um, go to more interviews. Uh, maybe one of them will hire you and you will change your uh, financial situation to allow you to have more confidence, you know. Um, so how can you fix being single, you know, like, is there hope of fixing yourself not being single anymore? Um, one of the cards is the star card and the other card is uh, Ace of Swords. So like the star card, um, Sim the star card um, symbolizes and what history trying to tell you is that you have to believe that you are the main character of your life, you know, you are the star, you know, you're brilliant, you're wonderful, you're talented. Um, you have to believe in yourself, like how you see yourself will, like, will make how peop other people see you. So if you have low self-esteem, you don't think yourself is attractive or qualified for a certain job, then the job material or other people, in the, or other people in your life will feel the same way how you feel about yourself. So if you feel that you're the star, that you're capable uh, of love, you're, you're deserving of love, um, you deserve, you have, um, you see yourself as a star in the main character of your own movie, then um, love will come in, then your single days will be over. Um, soon you realize that, that um, those low self-esteem um, or nothing, you know, there, there's just like fears of insecurity from our childhood, from our past. It's not like it's not real you know so like when you know that you're the star of your own movie when you know that you're talented that you're attractive uh that you then you will change your change your life around though um so people if you feel yourself is attractive or capable then other people around you feel the same way and they will ask you out on a date or you have the confidence to ask them out on a date so um I will leave the reading for here. Uh, if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more um, reading coming up. Thank you. So I'm going for uh, power number two right now. Hi guys, uh, for people that, uh, for you guys, you that choose power number two, this beautiful uh, peacock uh, stone. Um, there's two cards that I pre-shuffle for you guys. Uh, or saying like why are you single you know like what's up with that um 
there's a six of wands and there's a four of wands so the reason why that you're single is one of the reason that you're single because you're kind of a, a, a public figure like a lot of people know about you uh, and a, a lot of people look up to you um, then and you're very busy you know maybe you are in an entertainment uh, industry or under the public eye so it's not easy for you to date someone you know like um, to connect with someone like in a very genuine level uh, and one of the main reasons that you're being single is because uh, you want to have some sort of fling but you are looking something long term you like a soulmate or someone to build a life with so maybe you couldn't find someone that you're single right now is because you're like a public figure or that you work on some sort of entertainment business or um, a lot of people look up to you so you feel pressure of um, choosing someone that's uh, can match your, your quality or someone that's on your level you know okay. and for the second part uh, for you guys like how can you fix it can you fix about being single um, there's a ten of cups and the three of wands so um, the, re- the how can you fix being um, not single you know uh, with the three with the three wands and the ten of cups um, they talk about uh, wish fulfillment, so uh, longing after a family or having a soulmate to start a family with. So, um, I feel like you definitely can uh, get out of singlehood because um, with six of wands, I can see that uh, there's no any. It's, there's not a lot of difficulty in your financial life. If you have difficulty in financial life, then this is not your pile. You should choose pile number one. Um, for pile number two, I feel like your your financial situation is good and stable, but the reason why that you're single is because you'd be a little bit picky because you want someone that on your level or something that's long term or something that can be wife material, husband material. Um, but when, uh, manifestation, uh, you, you can totally to get get one soon. If I feel like if you want to be out single and meet someone long term, your soulmate, uh, definitely I, I feel you can do it with manifestation, journaling, scripting, definitely going coming for you. So there is always hope about not being single. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell for more uh, video coming. Thank you. Now I'm going for uh, power number three uh, for those that choose the, the beautiful uh, Yukonite uh, stone here. Um, hello power number three. Uh, today's topic we're going to talk about like uh, why are you single and how can you fix it. So I please drop uh, two cards for you guys. The first part we're going to talk about like why are you single and there's tens of swords and um, the kings and wands. So one of the reason why that you're single is because uh, you've been hurt in a past relationship and it's very difficult you very kind of difficult for you for to heal from um, from heal from the past relationship, past betrayal, you know. Um, that's why that you're being single because you still have a lot of past hurt. And also uh, one of the reason that you're being single is because someone um, close around you or your a friend or a sibling or, um, they, they kind of uh, spreading gossip rumors about you, like talking lies about you, um, causing a potential uh, suitor or potential date to like um, bail on you in the last minute um, can be the reason why that you're being single. And other reason why that you're being single is because that you're attracted to someone that is um, recently divorced. Uh, so uh, the person that recently divorced you still want to heal back from them. Um, if they, they like you back or something like that. If you want to know that, you can check out my other uh, video or like, um, should you ask your crush out or who is crushing on you. Um, so the Ten of, so- ten of Swords uh, is about past betrayal or being feel betrayed. Uh, people spreading gossip rumors or lies about you, uh, causing you to be single. And also it, may, it might be because you've uh, gone through a very uh, nasty breakup or nasty divorce and you're still healing from it. Um, the other reason why is like you're waiting for someone that is super attractive and they 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 recently got divorced, and one of the main reason that they are not contacting you or not showing you any feelings because they 
or still hurting as well, you know, um, from their breakup. Um, that's why there may be like no contact or um, little contact. Um, so the reason why you're being single is because gossip removes the lies or um, you're still healing, the, heal, healing um, for a past breakup. And the second part would be um, how can you fix about your single situation, uh, being single. Um, there's a knight of swords and, and the eight of wands. So um, for part number three, um, I feel that your single days might be over because like um, when people say like a knight in shiny armor is coming, <laughs> you definitely have a knight in shiny armor coming. There's a knight of swords. So uh, someone that you keep popping up in your mind um, is going to reach out to you, go ask you out on a date. And the second part about how can you fix your single situation, you know, um, like like if source talk about taking action, you know, being assertive. So it wants plus like of source mean um, rapid commun communication from someone that that you desire thinking about, or you can talk about that you should think you should be more assertive about yourself. And if you like someone, you have a crush on someone, uh, maybe you should ask them out on a date. You know, being more forward, being more assertive. Uh, being more so in yourself, in your choice, you know. Um, you should definitely check out the other um, reading that I posted about, like, should you ask your question out or, like, uh, who is crushing on you. So, pile number three, um, this will be your reading. I hope you enjoy reading. If you enjoy reading, remember to like, subscribe, hit this notification bell for more video coming. Um, this channel will be live soon and uh, so if you hit the uh, subscribe uh, button you'll be notified about me going live you can ask me any question for free uh, very exciting very fun um, it will be featuring like um, the, the, the um, famous entity in this channel you know Koenig, Lucifer, or Sistri uh, so if you're into left hand path definitely subscribe so thanks for watching see you next time thanks